Hello Mixers and welcome to the Memory Mixer Design Studio. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a mini calendar using the mini calendar template. I am wanting to create the smallest one that's about a three and a half inch square. So I'm going to come down here to the 2012 mini calendar template. It's square and I'm going to continue. I'm going to insert photos individually. I'm going to name my album. Go ahead and get that creating. Okay, my template has finished loading. And now there are several things that I could do to create my calendar. I could just add backgrounds and add a few embellishments. But I thought I'd show you how easy it is to bring in a quick mix page and just customize that to fit your calendar. So I'm going to go ahead here, insert, add more quick mix pages. And I'm going to use the Frostbite 2 quick mix from Fayette right here and I'm going to do the customized page arrangement so I don't have to bring in all the pages but just the one that I want and I will select this one I will drag it into this box press continue and this now will add to the end of my quick mix And once it's finished loading, I will drag it up towards my January. So we'll just drag it up here. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I realize that my calendar grid is on the bottom, so I am going to just drag most of these elements towards the top. If I hold my left mouse button down and drag, I will select all the items that it touches. And so now I will just deselect this big paper here because I don't want to move it and I will just drag those and reposition them up here. You can see I've left one element behind but we'll go ahead and see how that works. Maybe that will be just fine. So now I will come over to my January and now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to hold my left mouse button down, drag over the elements on this page and now I am going to come here and arrange and group these items. This will allow me to copy it and then adjust it later a little bit easier. So I will copy and now I'll come back to my quick mix page. I will paste that calendar in place. Now when you have elements grouped together like I have, I can still use my layering buttons. If they are not grouped but I have multiple items selected, I can't use the layering buttons. So that's really helpful in being able to reposition things. So I'm just going to go ahead and send it to the back. And it's actually gone behind this one piece of paper, maybe a few other elements. So I will just use my bring forward button and just click it a few times and here it is. And so I can see maybe I still have a few elements that are too close. I will just use the same technique and reposition those items up just using my arrow keys. And now I can bring down a few elements if I'd like to just bring it closer to my calendar. And this element, I don't mind it being here. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller so it doesn't cover the letters quite so much. So now you can see how easy it is to create a mini calendar using quick mix pages that you've imported once you have your album completed, you will simply come over here to print under share album. And the first thing I always do is to change my margins on my printing. And I just always change them to zero. And then the computer will default to what they are for your printer. But that way you know you're getting the maximum size. Just say OK. And then I will come to the advanced. And I will do a custom size and it is 3.5 inches wide and 3.7 inches tall. And now I'm going to crop image to fit. And now if I come down here, I can also fit multiple pages. So I can fit up to six of my calendar months on one page. And then I will just go ahead and follow instructions, print it, trim my calendars, and they're ready for display in our new calendar display. Thanks for stopping by and happy mixing.